whether they do the contingency checking? And the answer is yes, they do. And that's suggestive that, that they're checking it out and seeing it themselves. But that, that further step is, is really a, more of an interpretive step that we can't, you know, we can't really answer with, with our experiments. I mean, one of the paradigms almost, or the sins of, of um, studying animal behavior is, thou shalt not think of beast as man. Yes, and the, there is a, a problem for falling into an anthropomorphic type of interpretation here. That's really why we tried to stick with doing objective tests of comparing the mirror behavior with controls and also getting the mirror to become, you know, experimentally manipulable so that we could uh, really try to have the dolphins go through different paradigms where we were objectively evaluating their behavior. Why is it for you personally so important to almost prove that they are self-aware? Well, actually we're not trying to prove that they're self-aware. This, in this project, we're mainly just investigating what they're actually like. Now, I think a lot of people would like to think that these guys are self-aware. By this experimental psychology measurement, indeed, the answer comes out to be that it appears they are. What would it mean for you? What, what does it mean? Yeah. It means that these guys are in a pretty exclusive club. Uh, the only other animals that seem to know that it's themselves in a mirror are man and the great ape. It places them intellectually in that same class. But why self-awareness? Well, self-awareness is an interesting subject to explore in the dolphins, but it's also an interesting subject for, for the world to know about because People have, have been deluded into thinking that uh, dolphin dangers in the ocean with fisheries like the tuna fishery have been solved, and that, that is not true. And the reason for the existence of our project is to inform people about what dolphins are like. So s finding out whether they're self-aware is really of interest. For decades, people have speculated that this fisheries holocaust that is being perpetrated on dolphins in the ocean may be happening to some conscious animal or some conscious being that's suffering. Our work on self-awareness, which shows the dolphins to be in the same category as people in the great apes, indeed validates that fear, that fear that we're, we are killing in large numbers an animal that has some kind of consciousness, some kind of awareness. Two, three. Good job, you guys. Watch this. I think we got three. All right. Excellent job. Excellent. That's Waka right there. It's the one that comes back to you. Yeah. Thank you.